think there's greater so awkward much pressure on people to for, on that one day that it can be awkward even if you are dating that like sometimes it doesn't feel genuine and so I don't know, usually I don't put too much emphasis on Valentine's Day. Usually do something surprising on a day that's not Valentine's Day. Because then you aren't required to do it and it's not expected. So it shows a little more care. I mean, obviously, like, get a card or something or do something nice for Valentine's Day. But if well, you really want to go okay. all out, like, just surprise them. And just show them you care. Have you done something for Valentine's Day that was oh, man. good or funny? It no. can be bad. I mean, no, it can be I totally usually, bad. all through high school, I avoided it. I avoided it like the plague. Okay, how about yeah, first absolutely. dates? Do you have a great first date or best worst date story? I heard some pretty good worst date stories involving those. roommate roulette. Oh, they... Have you ever participated in roommate no, roulette? No, they, they killed it the year I came here. No way! Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm bringing it back. Okay. I'm going to roommate roulette. No, I, 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 I can't roommate roulette you. you I, know, I basically did it to Ryan. Okay. Um, but roommate roulette, for those of you younger students who don't remember this, roommate roulette is when you have a single roommate and you call, like, let's say, let's say Drew was my roommate. Okay. He's not. But yeah. hypothetically, let's say he was. And I knew, a as a good roommate, you set them up with somebody that you know they like. If you're an evil roommate, then, I mean, your roommate's probably not going to let you roommate roulette them. But... Um, so let's say Drew and Molly weren't dating. In case you didn't know, Drew is dating Molly. Oh, boy. Um, so let's say they weren't dating. I, as Drew's good roommate, yes. would call Drew's love interest's roommate, so in this case, Molly, I would call Molly's roommate, and I'd okay. say, hey, this is Spang. Oh, I'm yeah. Drew's roommate. I do remember this. Is this Molly's roommate? And she would say yes, and I'd say, okay, I want a roommate roulette, Drew and Molly. This is, and she'd say, yeah, fine. That's bad. And then we pick, as the roommates of you two, what you do, where you go, blah, blah, blah. Um, I did this my freshman year for my friend Roman. Um, he was my roommate. And um, they went ice skating in St. Paul, then they went to a movie, and then they went to dinner. Wow. Um, I kicked in a little bit because yeah. I'm a nice roommate and I wanted to help him out. That's fancy. They dated for a while. Huh. And success. then, and then uh, it was it was success. But then he uh, was going to move to California okay. and didn't want to do that. And well, it no, wasn't conceivable kind of cool that they were idea, going though. to get. Yeah, that's but kind of a, that's fun. I've heard some terrible ones too. People getting set up with people who don't like to start conversations. Right. Oh man. And they themselves don't start conversations in that situation. So it just gets awkward and quiet, and you can hear the crickets oh, yeah. and whatever. Which is why I like the roommate roulette rule that you go with. Right. Oh, that's good. I think generally that's a good idea, especially if you know the other person. You know what I mean? Because then you can be like, oh, well, hey, he's a business major. She's an animation major. You know, right. let's talk about that. And uh, yeah. that's, I mean, you got to help them out. You got to help out your roommates. Yeah, so Valentine's Day coming up. But you, what was your ba fest, oh, man. best... First date story. We'll talk about that probably after the next break. But yeah, I have no idea. I'm bit. gonna. I have to think about it. I honestly. Have if to you think. have a great first date story, and slash or like bad or good story. Both. Okay. If you have like yeah, I the best first date that I ever went on. We'll I'm gonna to talk that about. After the break. I'll also talk about my worst date ever. Oh man. I'll, I'll get personal on you, and uh, and on the listeners, and if you have a good one. I don't want you to Facebook this. I want this to be an interactive experience yes. here on the Freestyles Please. with Drew and Spank Show. Please call in. That number is 651-286-7550. Again, 651-286-7550. Again, Drew's going to play the little sound noise thing of the numbers. It's probably also right on the page that you're listening to the show on as well. Yes, that's it. And you will win... Uh, a good feeling of self-enjoyment. So if you didn't catch it, that was 651-286-7550. <laughs> Call in, tell us your Valentine's Day experiences, good, bad. Right now we got some music, we got a local group for you. This is Fades Away with Right Now We'll Stand on 97.7 WVOE. Yep.